Chow here from JohnChow.com, and welcome to another episode of Driving with John Chow. Today, I want to talk to you about leaving money on the table, because I know a ton of bloggers, a ton of bloggers are leaving a ton of money on the table. Let me give you an example of what I mean by that. Recently, I got an email from, uh, from someone asking about advertising. He wants to buy an ad space from me, and, but he said, my price is too high. He can offer me, instead of 500 bucks a month, he said, my budget is, is 150. Can I do that? And I just replied back, no, my price is 500. And then he comes back and counters again and say, uh, at the most I can go for maybe $200. If you, go for, if you allow me to do $200, uh, we can get the order done right now. I reply back again, I go, thanks, but no, my price is 500, take it or leave it. And he replies back saying, my final offer is saying at 250, and that's the best he can possibly do, and he has to stretch to be able to do it. And while I appreciate, you know, him trying to get business and trying to get a better price, I basically said, get lost. <laughs> Honestly, that's what I said. I said, get lost. I go, I don't negotiate on my advertising price, period. I have, n I have never lowered my price for anyone. I've only raised them. And the, I want to explain that because... The reason he wrote the original email is because he figures, he thinks wrongly, that my blog makes money by advertising. And I guess he came to that conclusion be, because, well, virtually all blogs make money from advertising. In fact, I would say the majority of all blogs out there makes money with just advertising and nothing else. But if you look at the advertising on my blog, and there's a lot of advertising on my blog, you know, so someone coming to my blog would probably conclude I say, you know, I see a 728 banner, I see a 300 by 250 banner, I see a whole bunch of 125 by 125 banner, I see a stripe ad, and they would probably conclude that, you know, this blog probably makes its money from advertising. And you, if you add it all up, you know, the, the, the 125, the, the, seven, the 728, all the ads in there, you add them all up when the, when the blog is, when all the ads are sold, which they are, you know, it adds up to over $10,000 a month which is good money, but it's actually only less than 10% of the blog's income. And because advertising accounts for so little of my blog's total income, I don't have to negotiate. I basically just set my price, if you want it, take it, great. If you don't, no beef off, no, no beef off me. But if you look at it, the majority of blogs out there makes their money from advertising and if that's you I'm here I'm here to tell you that if you make all your money from advertising on your blog you are leaving a lot of money on the table you're leaving a ton of money on the table you could potentially be leaving over 90 percent of your income on the table that's advertising it's not my biggest income source, and it should not be your biggest income source. If you do it correctly, advertising will actually be a, a small part of your income source. My blog makes money from promoting other stuff. The majority of the blog's money comes from the back-end sales funnel. And I, I talked about that in the past, the back-end sales funnel. And why do I talk about it so much? It's because it is what makes me the most money. Advertising does not make me the most money. Otherwise, I'll be telling you guys all the advertising tricks I know. And uh, there's a lot of them out there, but advertising just should, is only a small part of the blog's income. And the thing is, it's not the best part. Because look at it this way. See, why is an advertiser advertising on your blog? He's not doing it because he likes you, he wants to make you money. He's doing it because he wants a return on that advertising. In other words, the money he's spending with you, he has to make more than he spends with you. Otherwise, he's, he won't be advertising with you anymore. So if you're running a Google ad, know that, first of all, Google's taking half the money from the advertiser, all right? So you, call, you automatically, you can get twice as much money you can if you sell it directly, right? And even if you do, the advertiser has to make a return on that money. Otherwise, there's no reason for the advertiser on you. So look at it. Here's how I came about this little conclusion that advertising isn't such 
a great way to make money from your blog. I started everybody else. I make Google ads. But then I realized that you know, Google takes half the money. If I sell the ad myself, I can get at least twice as much money. So I sell the ad myself. And then I, and then I look at people who's buying the ad from me, and I realize that you know, what they're doing is they're actually they're advertising not their own product. They're advertising an affiliated product. They're being an affiliate to somebody else, and they're advertising on my blog to get traffic, and they're making money over and above what they're paying me. So then I, re then I go, well, wait a minute, you know, instead of selling my ad to the affiliate, why don't I just become the affiliate and bypass them and put my ads, I put affiliate ads on there with my affiliate link. So I did that and now I made more money. But then I realized that, you know, those affiliates are also making money as well. So they're selling it by making their own products. So that, that's how it works. But now that's why you see I have my own products. It's all about getting the maximum amount of money per user. Money income per user is what you should be monitoring, not, not uh, how much weight you can get from advertising. So uh, look at it this way, right? If all you're doing is just making money from Google Ads or advertising, whatever, you definitely need to expand your blog's revenue channels. I have, well, my blog runs like almost a dozen revenue channels in terms of advertising just one of them, right? But unfortunately, most blog, most bloggers don't know any better. They figure, hey, yeah, I'll, uh, I make money by producing content and I'll let Google handle the advertising and that's how I make money. Yeah. If all I did was run Google ads on my blog and nothing else, my blog will be making about a thousand bucks a month right now. Thousand bucks a month if I just run Google Ads. Right? But my blog doesn't run Google Ads anymore because I, I don't, I don't want to share the money with Google. I don't want to well, I explain why I don't want to do it, but look at the difference. Just Google advertising, just Google Ads, 1000 bucks a month versus the blog of my current revenue model over 100 grand a month. So there you go. Right? Don't leave money on the table. Maximize your revenue channel. John Chow from JohnChow.com. Thank you for listening. I'll see you guys in the next episode. And subscribe to my channel. Thank you.